Okay, Doki. I think we're going. I hope we're going. Give a few minutes. Here, let's see how things going. So, what's going on? Uh, I'm trying to just bear with me in a second, people. If anybody's come in yet, which I think I see a couple have, I'm just trying to get the last couple things set up on this end, and I will start this in just about another minute, two minutes along that lines. Uh, if you're here, welcome. I hope you're doing well. And I'm going to open my first box here in just a couple of minutes. <clears throat> or start opening it. Uh, I got a little stuff talked about too while we're at it. Hope you all have had a good if you're not in the US, you know, I hope you have a good week. I mean, it's it is what it is for you. Uh, I don't know how y'all are how everyone's doing, but feel free to say. Looking forward to getting this popped open and hoping, really hoping to try to pull a cog. He's the main one I really want to pull. Uh, being the fan of Fort Bax that I am, uh, with him being out in the wave, I know he's not technically with, out yet for a Fort Max card, but I would love to get one. And cog would be a great first part of that. Uh, I've actually been debating about who they could put with with a Fort Max if they brought him out. If they're going to bring him out kind of like what Metroplex is. And Cog was one of my choices for it, but considering they brought him out now, I wanted to rethink that one. I had two in mind. I just don't know who the third could be, but, I mean, we have to wait and see how things go with that. Because, uh, I mean, we got, you know, we got the three for Metroplex. So, we got to see how that's going. Oh, and if you hear in the background, it's like now. I don't know if you could, the, the microphone's picking it up. Our dogs are actually starting to bark. Probably because where I'm at, the city I'm in, they're actually doing the fireworks display tonight. So it's probably going to be, there's a little bit distracting for the first little bit here. I don't, yeah, I don't think you can hear the fireworks themselves. I can't even hear them. But I'm sure the dogs actually do hear them. Actually, I do did hear it just then. I can hear it very faintly, so I don't know if the, the microphone's picking it up any in the background. Uh, if it is, I do, I do apologize for that. But I mean, it, it's it's just what time. I, I don't know why they're not doing like a normal Thursday night. It's just two days from now, but I guess it's just the way the city is. I mean, I know they're they actually do like Halloween and stuff on like a weeknight instead of like on a weekend. I guess they just don't want to bundle up so much traffic or something i don't know but let's we're about to get into this but before we do i just want to comment about uh my already little i should say jump into the wave three boxes here um last night i don't have i have a local card shop that's been doing the game and stuff but or trying to i've been trying to get some people to start up in it and i haven't gotten anybody but I did get to uh, go to a sealed draft last night at a place called Card Addicts uh, in Alabama because I am in Mississippi. I won't go into specifics on that, but it was pretty cool. It was fun. We had an 11, people tur 11 uh, player turnout, which was pretty awesome. Uh, my daughter, my oldest daughter, actually went with me. My little One of my two minicons went with me, and she injured, and she played, and she had a blast playing. And it was fun to have her playing in the tournament with me. Uh, we actually went up against each other in the first round. And we actually played to a draw, which was cool. And we fi we finished it all, it all off. Uh, the tournament was all over. My daughter, out of the 11 players, we actually had one person drop because he had to leave uh, for some reason. I can't. I don't know if he ever really said. And then we had a couple others. I think, I think somebody else kind of quit after that, too. Uh, but... It was still pretty good. Of the 11 players, my daughter actually finished in eighth place. She didn't do too bad. She had one win, 
two losses and the draw of the uh, four the four rounds we went through. I finished in third place, which is pretty cool, awesome. I wasn't expecting that. I actually got again. I got the draw. I had also. Also had one win and one loss, but I also got the uh, a, a buy because of the guy dropping. So I actually had two, basically had two wins. So I was two one and one, which wasn't too bad. I could I probably I have to say this at the first round when we, when I faced my daughter, it actually come down to the time. I actually got her down to like one hit point left on her bot and the uh, the bot I had because it was basically going one on one. I got her down to one uh, HP left on hers, and she, I had like six I think on mine. Something like that. So there was not really, a, I don't think she could have beaten me. There was a possibility if we had like an extra turn or so, she probably could have. But if I, I know if I had another turn, I probably would have beat her. So, I mean, it, it's what it was. It's still a fair game. But we did, uh, at, the, at that, we did get the gold foil drafts picks. We got the, of course, got the gold foiled red alert, flame war from the original wave one art, and the bumblebee. All these are really cool. I do love the gold foiled to it. Of course, it's not on the the alt mode side, but they're still pretty cool. But we also got the uh, private smash down character, which is awesome. Of course, he's this one I still got sealed in the wrap. I just haven't opened him yet. And I'm probably not going to. I want to leave this guy in the sealed paper. So he is awesome as well. Uh, I haven't had I haven't used him yet because I didn't get him to after the draft was over. But he's he's the two, six, and two in his battle master mode. And a battle master begins in bot mode and can be can't be flipped. Uh, and when it's KO'd, becomes the upgrade on the side. So this is his bot mode basically. And then when he gets knocked out, he becomes the earthquake uh, hammer claw. And you put you'll put this on a character that says when the upgrade character attacks and you flip. More battle cards than your opponent flips. The upgrade carry gets plus two until end of battle. So basically what that means is when you flip this guy, uh, you know, flip him over into your his battle mode and you got him equipped to somebody. If you as long as you if you flip more cards on on the our battle icons than your opponent does for their defense, you're going to get a plus two onto your turn. So you're already going out with two, and you get the additional plus two. So you, if you get the more battle icons, you're going around with four at least. So that's not too shabby alone. Uh, I, like I said, I do have a spare one, so he might be going into a, a binder. Or I shouldn't say binder. I should say a sleeve and stuff. Which, on that note, we'll get into that here in a moment. I wanted to show off the other cards we pulled from this wave. Um, let's see. I've, I've got to separate these out, but... I'll just show these off how, how we how we got them. These are what we pulled, my, both myself and my daughter. She actually pulled the Major Prowl here. He is pretty cool. Uh, 5, 14, and 1. But you know what? We'll go into the details as we open these. But she pulled a Major Prowl. I pulled Raider Ion Storm in one of my packs. Uh, we've actually both pulled a Run Amok. We didn't get Run About. We both got Run Amok. So that was actually pretty cool on that mode. Uh, I pulled the Sergeant Hound from one of mine. So that's actually three cards of mine already. Uh, my daughter actually pulled Spark Starker. So she was happy with that. And this, the sound wave that, that's here wasn't pulled from our draft. This was actually one of the two packs that I won for the round. So I actually got the sound wave. And my daughter wanted her packs because I don't have all my Battle Masters. I'll show those off here in a moment, though. Um, she pulled the, his cassettes for it, so that was awesome. I wish I gotten them beforehand, but it, it is you know what it is. She also pulled a private side, side swipe for hers, and she actually used she actually used him and Prowl in her in her game. I pulled the Trailbreaker, and I was using him in my game or for my little deck, I should say. And I also pulled Special Ratchet. He was the other bot I was using for the deck, and they were working really well together, though. Only, my only disappointment for the deck I had, uh, Trailbreaker, I will go into this a little, just real quick. Uh, Trailbreaker and uh, Ratchet have a ability that activates when they start the, the game. Okay, let's flip them both over here. Trailbreaker, you can get a force field. Uh, you may put a force field from your deck onto this. So you put a force field right onto him right off the bat. 
I did not have a force field. I could have sworn I had it when I started the game off and I looked for them and I thought maybe did I miss putting them back in my deck. And then while between turns, I was checking my side, my other spare cards. I didn't have them. Then I realized that one of the ones that I thought I had that was force field wasn't force field. I was looking at one of my other cards thinking it was force field because it has trail breaker on it. And I thought that was force field. So it was, that was my fault on that. But, but it's not not too bad. Uh, Transformers fanboy, welcome, brother. How are you doing tonight? Hope you're doing all right. Uh, I got Specialist Ratchet, and I was using him, and I did have the Medic. I only had one of it, though. And that's one of his abilities. When he's when you begin the game, you put take Medic from your deck, and you put it into your hand. So you basically start your, your, star, uh, your game off of four cards already in hand. So that wasn't too bad. My daughter pulled uh, Flame War from one of her packs, so she was happy. I actually take it back. She didn't pull it from one of her packs. She actually, when we were getting the last two, uh, when I was getting my prize packs, there was one pack left in the box, and the owner of the store told him told her she could have it. So she was happy with that. She was one of the youngest ones there. His two kids were actually in the tournament. She actually played one of them. Actually, I think she played actually both of his kid his kids in the tournament. Uh, I think she beat one and lost to the other, but. Uh, she was happy getting Flame War because, of course, she's got the gold version of it as well. And then she actually pulled one of the big ones of Alita 1, which I was kind of annoyed about because I was really hoping to pull Alita at some point. And I hope I'm pulling it with her in one of these boxes too, but I, I like this. I'm a, I have a lot of the Fembots. I have yet to get one of the Alita 1s. Well, I do take the back. I do have the uh, Titans, not Titans, the, the Power of the Primes version of her. I do have that one. I've been wanting to get the third party copy of it, but I have yet to get that. So she's pretty awesome. And then I actually, my rare that I pulled was Sergeant Skywarp. So that was actually pretty good as well. I started to use him, but I kind of decided to use the Ratchet and stuff because of their abilities and have a lot of the more cards that worked for bot, Autobots than I did for Decepticons. Because so I was thinking about using Skywarp with uh, Ion Storm and then one of the Battle Masters that I had, which I will show those off here in just a moment as well. I'm going to just move these up out of the way for a second. And I'm going to show my Battle Masters off. I'm also going to hope this don't fall. Actually, let's slide this over so I know it don't fall. This is what I use to store my, uh, my battle cards in. I got one of these nice Ultra Pro binders. I picked this one up exclusively for Wave 3. And as you can see, I've already started filling it up some. This was actually, speaking of which, this was actually the card I thought was my force field. And I, I kind of understand how I misplaced it because it's defense field. So it, it was still pretty good. Uh, little mistake, but I got them all in here. The ones I've pulled so far had some pretty good pulls. I won't go into full detail on them just yet because we will be opening a bunch of these. So, But I'm going to show off the small guys that we pulled uh this is the full again here's the the one my daughter pulled i'm trying to make sure i got this in image so if it's not i do i'm sorry uh got the private smash down here and as you see we pulled a pretty good bit here we got flack we got mudslinger uh pterodon i guess i said you could say it we got stakeout uh my daughter was actually using stakeout with uh her uh, prowl and uh, uh side swipe for her three that was her three cards she used uh top spot and called raider aimless blowpipe detour laser beak ravage we pulled those so we, we didn't have side swipe at the term or excuse me sound wave at the time yeah road hugger storm cloud and vice i was actually using blowpipe as my third bot so and he was doing really well with them too i'd equip the um what's the blaster no it's the xl3 blaster that's in this one this wave i was putting that in there and he was actually doing really well with that uh this is something i was going to show off i wanted to y'all to comment at some point when you're watching now or you're watching later do y'all like the looks of this about putting the top loaders these using these big top loaders for these ones or the smaller ones part of me kind of does because when i'm storing them up and i got them with my other cards you know they'd all stack together but i'm probably going to get the smaller versions just to store these up with because these are a couple of extras I pulled, and I just tried to test these out just to see how they look. And they don't look too bad in it because they're centered and all. But the thing is, is the sleeves I picked up there still work pretty good with them. 
but uh, I didn't realize they had this little little bump on the sleeve. So I don't know if I want to keep them. I haven't decided just yet. I'm gonna look around some more and see if I can find some better ones. But y'all are here for the me to open up this box, so I'm about to do so. Just let me just kind of slide this guy back in here just to get him out of the way. So I don't lose track of him. And I'm hearing that the fireworks a little bit more now. So you can pick if it's picking it up again. I do really apologize. And let's get into it. So we're going to start right here with this pack. And if you haven't opened one yet, uh, know that they are different from the first couple of ways because you get one character card, one small card, one small battle master or micro master or uh however you want to say them for that character you get that and you get your uh, battle cards so in this one here's the battle cards we'll get to that in a moment let's look at what characters in that we got oh boy right off the bat general optimus prime pretty awesome did not have him yet and he's my first rare from the pack that is awesome and shockwave and if you're often from discord i ain't got to trade with you brother I don't have to tell you because he was actually mentioning to me because I was thinking about what I pulled from the draft. And he said he pulled three of these guys already. So I got one. I'm good. <laughs> so that, that's actually pretty good for my first pull. Pull a rare. Awesome. And we'll get that all the way. And as for the MicroMaster, we got Stormcloud again. So I already had this one. That's nothing against, nothing wrong with that. Oh, let's look at their abilities real quickly. We got uh, Prime, when he's in bot mode, he's a 6, 14, and 2. Bold 1, tough 1, flip one more battle card when attacking or defending. And Focus, flipping uh, before flipping battle cards and battling, look at the top of your deck, you may scrap it. So if you, basically in this one, it's kind of different from his original, the Battlefield Legend. Uh, ability where when you attack before your opponent flips his defense, you know, you can activate an action card of one of the cards you do, uh, attack. Uh, this one's kind of different. This one, you can when you're flipping your battle cards or before you start flipping them, you can choose to scrap the top one. So you can look at the top one. If it's not one that's going to help you, you can scrap it. That's pretty cool. And in his def alt mode, he's 4, 14, and 3, which is 2, 2 and 1 below, 2 attack. Blow and one, he's got one more defense in front mode. Uh, each of your other characters has bold one and tough one, so that's not too shabby at all. Prime's actually pretty good. I wonder if the double primes will work on him. Uh, Storm Cloud, you basically tap him, scrap three green pip cards from your hand, one of your characters gets bold three until the end of the turn. Uh, if the three scrap cards have the same name. Instead, that car character gets bolt six. So that wouldn't be so bad if you're using like focus fire or uh, defensive padding and stuff. Because I actually had a couple of those and they had green pips. So if you had three or even attack drone, that wouldn't be work too bad if you have all three of them in your hand. And of course, he has stealth when he's untapped. Um, he's three, six, and zero on alt mode and three, six, and zero on bot mode. So that's not too shabby. We'll get these out of the way. And we'll crack this one open for our battle cards. We got the EM24 laser. This is the one I was just mentioning before. Uh, I liked using this one and that because it gives you a plus three to your attack. So that's pretty good. Repurpose. Nice image of Wheeljack. Uh, scrap a card from your excuse me, scrap a card from your hand, draw two cards, kind of like your uh, brainstorm, but it's just using, you're scrapping cards just to, to draw cards. Personal targeting droid, or drone, excuse me, I said droid. Uh, pierce one to it, and it's a utility card, so you do at least one damage when attacking, but no more than attack total. Uh, when this is scrapped, the character, these are actually pretty good. They, I've, we've had three cards, I know there's a, a an armor that does a similar ability and there goes my dog barking uh there that when they you scrap it you can scrap an enemy utility so that's not too shabby on those hv electron breacher it's a decepticon weapon 
Uh, as it says, but non septicons only. Uh, for each black pip you flip when attacking, the attack gets pierced one until the end of turn. We knew that. And he gets a plus two. Got a metal detector. Okay, I saw this last night. I actually pulled, I think we actually pulled a couple of them. I don't think I used it. I think my daughter, actually, I think my daughter's the one that pulled it. Uh, she says, it says, when the upgraded character attacks, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's an upgrade, you may play it. That's a pretty good effect. Funny thing I find about it, Wheeljack, the art, Wheeljack with a metal protect detector on Cybertron. A planet of metal with a metal detector. Yeah. Of course, it's probably not scanning for actual metal, but, you know. And Special Ops Mission. I actually had this in my deck last night, though I didn't really use it. I think I used it maybe once because I actually had two actions in my hand. Uh, that's the only downside to the to the game, I think, right now until I can get used to it. And I'm sure a lot of people are playing like that. You may play a secret action, then you play another secret action. So it's basically a brainstorm for secret action. You play this, let you play two secret actions. Secret actions are the ones you play face down, kind of like a trap card from Yu-Gi-Oh! And you hope that your opponent's going to use that ability or effect on the next turn. So we should hopefully pull one, and if we do, we shall see what we do. And let's go to the other side here and see what we pull from this set. I have to admit, I like how they get you to go buy the figures too by advertising in the pack as well. And we got another Sergeant Hound. And oh, who is this one? Oh, it's another Aimless. I believe we already have Aimless. So that's all right. Aimless is a three, eight, and zero. Uh, tough three. Flip three more battle cards when defending. And he's a Manifold Ion Blaster. When the upgrade character attacks, and you flip at least three blue clips, do three damage to the defender. So that's not too shabby. So if you're attacking somebody, oh, it's you flip. Never mind. I'm thinking it was your defender that flips. Okay, that's kind of. It wouldn't be so bad if you're flipping a blue deck. So that's that's all right. And hound, uh, four thirteen and one. Uh, when you upgrade, when you upgrade this, he gets plus two until the end of turn. So you give this guy an upgrade, the utility on armor, he's going to get the plus two. So if you're already at him, adding, like, say, the cannon or excuse me, the launcher to him, you're giving him seven with his attack, and you're adding two more. So you're, you're giving him nine right off the bat for that until the end of the turn. And, and if you equip something else the next turn, you know, he's back up to nine again. So that would work fairly well. I probably should have used him in that, considering how often I was using that uh, launcher there. But let's get into the packs here, the battle cards. And we got a diagnosis. Repair one damage. I actually had this in my deck as well last night, because you repair one damage from one of your characters. If your starter team is all bots, you draw a card. Uh, Ratchet has the ability that when he's in bot mode, if you repair damage to an Autobot and you attack with Ratchet, he gets plus one to his attack for every damage, uh, every repair you do. So a medic does two, and if you can play another action and you do this, that's three. Or if you can play two medics, you know that's four, so on. So that's not too shabby on that. Uh, smoke cloak, tough. Uh, it's an armor. You add tough one to defend to the defense, or flipping one more tough uh, card to defend with. Pep talk, a reprint, uh, or excuse me, new art for a previous card we've had. In action of draw two cards, squish them like bugs. I had pulled two of these. I think I pulled one, and my daughter pulled one. I love the art for this. I think this just looks really, really weird. Uh, not, I don't, well, I'll take the back. I won't say weird. I think it looks just. Own my own ultra magnacy of magnus trying to squash a couple mini cons or micro masters. Uh, choose one of your characters when it does attack damage this turn to an enemy that has fewer stars than it. Do one damage for each enemy that has fewer stars than your character. So you're doing one more damage if you've got a like of say 
uh, Prowl going up against uh, Aimless. If you got to put that on Prowl, so or excuse me, Hound. So that's that's not too bad. If you know you're attacking a weaker bot or a weaker lower starred bar, it actually works real well. And got another extra padding. I actually have a couple of these. I was actually using two of these in my deck last night. These works real well. It puts a extra defense on your card. You flip an extra card for your defending. I mean, and you can put up to three onto your character on your defense on your armor slot. So it actually isn't too bad for that. I actually had two of them on my uh, Trailbreaker at one point. So, and then we got for our rare. We pulled our first secret rare, our secret action. Excuse me. The uh, take cover, reveal, you know, when, this is one of the ones you put face down uh, for your action, and then on your, it scraps at the end of your opponent's turn, but if he does what this guy says reveal, you get to hit what's re when revealed, like, uh, if you, if one of your, one of you, if one or more of your characters would take non-attack damage during your opponent's turn, so basically if you He's going to do like damage, like say with uh, oh, a uh, 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 zap or something. You activate this, and when it's revealed, instead of your instead, your characters can't take non attack damage this turn, so basically, it blocks that. So, that's not too shabby for that. We'll go back to this side. I'm going to try and speed this up a little bit. I don't want to stay here. For Three hours or whatnot, kind of going through each and every card. So, and got a trail, private trail breaker, right? Pull him already. And we'll just go his quick 514 0. When it says armor, he has brave. So you basically attack, have to attack him when he's in bot mode. If you put armor on him. And again, this is the one I was speaking about earlier where he has the defense uh, before the game begins. You may put a force field on your deck. Are from your deck to and onto this, and he's got two defense in bot mo or alt mode. I was actually keeping him in alt mode and attacking with him because I, like I said, I would equip something to him to give him more of a bounce. And I also had the the padding on him, so he was going up there with like a good, pretty good chance for defense. So I mean, he was doing pretty well with that. I just didn't have a force field like I thought I did, so I was kind of disappointed on that. But. It, you know, it's part of a draft. I mean, you can't expect it. We get battle cards here. Oh, we didn't get the... I forgot to put the other character. The private top shop, which I did pull earlier uh, from my draft last night. Uh, tap, scrap a orange pip card from your hand, draw two cards, then put a card from your hand to the top of your deck. The only thing I didn't, and I didn't catch this right at first last night when we were playing these, are the ones are the ones that were. When you tap him, he doesn't get his attack. So if he's the last bot and you tap him, that's it. Your turn's over. Uh, at least that's what I was told. Or at least I thought. Well, some of them might have that because this one doesn't really say that. So it's draw to put on top of your dam to tap this character tap character before you attack. So I guess he does. All right, so um, I guess that's his, his ability is when he attacks. Not when he's attacked, when somebody else attacks, but whatever. Stealth, you know, he's in the alt mode. He's one, five, and two in alt, and two, five, and one in bot mode. So he's got one extra attack in bot mode. We'll get the battle cards. Smelling Claw. I pulled this last night. I actually pulled like three or four of these, I think. Uh, that when this card is scrapped from a character, scrap an enemy weapon. See, that's one of the other cards I was mentioning earlier. We had the one with the utility. This one works for the armor or the weapon. Gives you a plus one. Frag toss. Choose one of your character. Choose your opponent. Chooses uh, one of their characters and does one damage. If your starting team was only Decepticons, your opponent takes does one more damage to that chosen character. So instead of doing one damage, you're doing two if you're all Decepticons. Urban camo. Tough one when defending. Uh, pretty good image of Hound there with it too. Anticipation engine. I don't think I had this one. We might have it. I'll have to check in my book. But when the upgraded character attacks, reveal the top card from your deck. If it's an action, you may play it. And that's a weapon, but it doesn't give you any bonus on that. But it's a white pip, so that might help in some ones. 
full defense system. You've got a nice image iron hide there, it looks like. If that's not iron hide, it's tote. Uh, while the upgraded character is defending against an enemy that has pierce, reduce the enemy's pierce by two. That's actually pretty good. And that's an armor card. So a lot of the ones we were flipping last night had like one, two pierce or whatever. So if you have this equipped, you're not going to take that pierce. So it's basically protecting you from up to two pierce. And we've got a uh, level gamma disruptor launcher. This is for shockwave. So hopefully pull shockwave from this set. Uh, put on shockwave only. Up to two level gamma disruptor launchers can fit in one weapon slot. So you can actually put two of these on one of them. On one shockwave. So that's actually pretty awesome. I did not know that. Uh, when you put this on shockwave, your opponent chooses a card from their hand and scraps it. So you can only put it on shockwave and it gives you that effect. So that's actually not too bad for a shockwave. Let's go to this side this time. Here's hoping to pull a shockwave. I think shockwave, Magnus, uh, Megatron, and Kong are the big secrets or super rares. And we got Grumuck, which I already had. I need to run about. Run amok. So th this is one set I've been wanting to, I was wanting to try out was run about and run amok. I've seen some play by Wreck and Rule, and it looked like it was an awesome set to work with, that they worked really well. Of course, they're built to work together. Uh, run about, run out, and bot mode is 5, 13, and 2. When you flip to this mode, draw a card. If you have run about on the battlefield, flip him from alt mode to bot mode. So it basically works right into it on that. And no abilities on alt mode, 4, 13, and 2. And then we got uh, Mudslinger for our Minicon, or from my win uh, last night, 271. He is a, when you tap him, scrap a Black Pip card from your hand, move one damage counter from one of your characters to an enemy. So that wouldn't be too bad at all. And his bot mode, or alt mode is 371. And of course, he's got the stealth. That's pretty cool. I don't know why the image is going away. I'm, I'm trying to keep an eye on the stream, so bear with it if it cuts out. I don't know what it's doing. Maybe signal or something. I don't know what, what it's doing. Basic combat protocol. This is our first card. It's a utility. Flip one more battle card when attacking. Not too bad there. Uh, Battlefield Report. I actually had this in my deck last night. It's another secret action. Reveal when one of your characters defends. This probably won't be so bad if you wanted a couple of these in there because you're more likely going to be defending pretty often. Uh, when revealed, draw two cards and put a card from your hand at the top of your deck. So that wouldn't be so bad. Medic, that's the one I was speaking about a little while ago. Repair two damage from one of your characters. Uh, if you're going to run a ratchet, I highly recommend having probably about three of these in your deck. Sturdy Armor, I did not have this one. A nice image of Chromia there. Uh, put on Specialist only. It's a uh, armor, by the way. While the upgrade character is defending against a ranged enemy, the upgrade character gets plus one. So you already, if, if you're going up against a range, you're defending against a ranged character. You're getting two defense off of this. So that's not too, too shabby at all with that. Full loadout. A nice brainstorm. Uh, basically putting armor on Prime here. Almost makes me think of him putting on the Jinrai armor. And this is a star card. It's an action. Choose one of your characters. You may play a weapon, an armor, and a utility onto it. So you basically, if you have those in your hand and you can't play, you're trying to figure out which one to play and you pull this, boom, you can put all three of them down. And then we have Unconventional Find Object. This is the first spaceship card that's been released. I'm glad I pulled it. Though I don't have, the only spaceship I have currently is Cosmos. So it, it's kind of effective just on him. But uh, it's an action. Flip one of your spaceships to bot mode and flip it back to alt mode. And it's a pretty cool image of Alpha Tron basically just flying in through the atmosphere. Acting all tough. That is all. It's still pretty awesome. We'll go this side. And let's see. 
Who are we getting? Private side swipe. We got another side swipe. My daughter pulled this one, as I mentioned earlier. Oh, it's not too bad on that. Uh, when one of your other characters KO during your opponent's turn, you can untap it. He's 4, 11, and 1. Uh, in alt mode, 2, 11, and 1. When you flip to this mode, this gets plus 2 attack until the end of the turn for each character in your KO area. So if he's the last bot and you got two bots in the knocked out, and you flip this guy, so you're getting four more added on to you. So you're going up to six on your attack alone. So not too bad on that. I think Alita's got an ability that works well with that. And my daughter started to use that, but she wasn't. I, I kind of, like me and another guy, they're kind of convinced not to use Alita because she didn't have a whole lot of support for Alita from her battle card. So, and we go. Oh, let's show off the, the other card, which was uh, the Ravage. Tap. Do one damage to an enemy. If that enemy has four uh, defense or more, do two damage to it instead. So you're tapping him, and if he's got four, he's got a four uh, defense. You're already doing two damage, or at least two. Da you're doing two damage if he's got four or more. If he's got less. You're only doing one. And alt mode, he's zero, seven, and three. Bot modes, the three, seven, and one. Got combat dagger. Bold one uh, to your attack, which you know gives you a pierce uh, for that. That's not too bad. I actually had that in my deck again. I calculated strike as well. Uh, when your character gets plus two and plus two pierce till the end of the turn, that's not wasn't bad at all. Another urban camo. Done seen that one. Other seen uh, point defense system. Done seen anticipation engine and pop a wheelie. My daughter pulled this. She actually pulled two of them, but she didn't at the time. She didn't have flame bore, so she couldn't use it. The that pack she pulled that she won, you know, after the turn was got after the turn was over. That's when she pulled flame bore, so she could have used that in that. But it's still, it's still pretty cool. I mean, it, it, it's all the luck, luck of the draw or the luck of the pack. I mean, uh, if you didn't weren't aware, if you collect the current comic book line uh issue seven and i believe it's seven and eight i believe it's two issues they actually released uh the last month in the past month uh both of them actually had a both one booster pack in it so if you have go to your store your store and they have a seven and eight they should have a booster pack in that from wave one i've actually seen people pull nothing on them and i've seen somebody pull a shockwave and a nemesis prime out of them so they can be pulled. You can get a good one. And what you know, we got another hound. Okay, we ain't going to go over another hound because we already got one. And we got another, we got, well, this is another one, but this is the first one we pulled from this box of Raider Detour. Uh, bot mode, he's three, six, and zero. Uh, tap, scrap a blue icon card for your hand, draw two cards, and it's three, six, and zero on alt mode. So gives you two, draw, two on defense. When you scrap a blue card or blue pick card, excuse me. Well, just and I do believe all the fireworking is done because that hurt a pretty good little bit of it a little few minutes ago. Now it's kind of gotten quiet, so I think all this done. Plus, it is nine thirty here, and I started at nine, so about thirty minutes seems about right. Got seen combat dagger, uh, reactive armor, which is pretty good. I actually had a couple of these in my deck. This is the one where you can put it on a character, and when you scrap it, it scraps an armor, or enemy armor. Uh, got Dismantle. I actually had this also in my deck. Scrap any weapon or enemy weapon or armor. So that's not too shabby. Spinner rims. People were, a couple people had this when I was playing against, but I'd never pulled it. Uh, it says, when the upgraded character battles, you uh, when you flip your first white pip, flip one extra battle card. So you're flipping that, you actually when you flip a white like this one, you're flipping three cards instead of just two. EMP wave. This one, you tap all the characters, it's an action card, and it's a star card, so it's the one card. But the, when I first saw the image of this, the first thing that pops in my mind about this image was the Marvel Comics. If you look back in the Marvel Comics at issue 21. You look back to issue 21 of the Marvel Comics, they brought back Circuit Breaker, and, and this kind of had a similar image to this in that where 
she attacked the Autobots of Blaster, Perceptor, uh, Warpath, Beachcomber, uh, Cosmos, and the other minibots of that class. And they basically, she had a lot of similar image going on with them because they, she was a member of the Rat Mook team and she, they put these pads on the Autobots after they'd been like stunned by this like foil stuff they fired at them. And they, she basically used her electric ability to hit them with that and knocked them out. That this image makes me think of that panel, the panel from that comic. And we got battery and RAM. I uh, had this pulled this one as well. I don't, I don't think I used it because I wasn't sure if I'd be able to use it too often. But I think actually I take it back. I think I kept it in my deck, but I just I never got around to using it. Uh, put on trucks only. No greater attack when the upgraded character does attack do. The attack damage to an enemy opponent flips that enemy to its other mode. So basically forcing a bot to flip into alt mode. Pretty awesome. And you get you get the plus two on that. So that worked well on Sergeant on Hound or, or not Hound. Uh, I was using it on uh, I think I had it on Trailbreaker in his bot mode. I think that's one of the ways, ways I was getting his plus attack. I tended to keep kept Trailbreaker in his alt mode than his uh, bot mode. And we got another Skywarp. So that's our second rare for this booster box. We got Prime, and now we got Skywarp. So that's two rares out of this box already. I actually pulled Skywarp last night. I'm actually going to put my rares separate so I don't lose track of them here. Uh, Skywarp, 4, 11, and 2. When you play a secret action, draw a card. And then his alt mode, when you flip to this mode, return two secret actions that have different names from your scrap pile to your hand. Being that this guy is a um, seeker and he's a black ops, uh, he's a black ops on, in the character profile, that actually is pretty good. I probably should have really should have used him last night. But, ah, bygones by bygones. Because uh, I would have had all the Decepticons if I'd done that, but it's still not too shabby. And then we got Private Tote. I did not have this guy. So this is one another new one for me. Uh, Prime and Tote here are my like, new, first new ones. I had all the other ones. Uh, two, five, and one. Tap to scrap and scrap a black pip card from your hand. Untap one of your characters that has six or less, six or stars or fewer. And then you got uh, his alt mode, of course, is two, five, and one. And he's, you know, on stealth. That's actually pretty awesome. I went up against him a couple of times and from a couple of people last night. And the last pack here. This pack. Oh, yay. Sean, how's it going, brother? And see, come in. There is no Superion in this wave. So nothing to worry about. How long you been here? Have you seen the... What I've pulled so far? Got another repurpose. Seen that? Oh, there's the new new art force field. I love the new art for this one. It's, st it's still using trail breaker or trail cutter, whichever you want to call them. Uh, for you know, it's an upgrade for the armor. You, if you want to take five more damage, instead you scrap this instead. So I mean, it, it's awesome. I wish. All right, cool. And so you saw the the prime too. Uh, I, like I said, I love that art for that. Defensive formation. I have uh, I already have a couple of these. It's another secret action. You reveal one of your character defense. What you you reveal one of your character defense. Each of your characters get plus one defense until the end of the turn. So this was a good for a defense deck. I mean, this probably would be good if you're going to run a lot of secret actions, like a sky warp. You put this in there, and you can have a couple of these down. So. You put, I don't know. Actually, I don't know if you're allowed to flip more than one of my uh, time. Probably can. It never got around to that. Another metal detector. Again, this gets me. Wheeljack on Cybertron. I planted a metal with a metal detector. I think that thing's going to go on crazy. If not explode, just taking one step. Honestly. Battlefield scan did not have this one. At least I don't believe I had it. Uh, it's an action. A nice image of Shockwave looking at basically a battlefield. 
Uh, enemies can't use brave or stealth this turn, so that's actually pretty good for that. And we got another uh, energy emergency defense field. Again, this was the one I thought was a force field, and it irked me because I, I had it in my deck, but I couldn't. I I could use it as an armor, but I could have sworn it was my uh, force field for trailbreaker there, and that was my rare. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, it might have been, but it's still it's still this funny. It's a metal detector on Cybertron. On. I don't see any logic behind it. I mean, it might look for a certain type of metal, for all we know. I just think it's kind of weird. And Captain Wheeljack. All right, that's pretty cool. Uh, Wheeljack's like uncommon, so I do like the new look for with this Wheeljack. Uh, it looks more like he's classic uh, toy design, but 4, 12, and 2, when you play a, your third action during your turn, draw a card. So he works for action cards. And then alt mode, uh, it's 5, 12, 1. Before the game begins, you may reveal a brainstorm from your deck and put it into your hand. Okay, so that would work. I wish I could have pulled him last night. That would have been very effective. Because I did have a couple of brainstorms in my deck. That is awesome. I did not have Wheeljack, so that's actually pretty good. And for the Minicon, we got one I did not have was Private Red Heat. A 2 8 and uh, no defense. He's got stealth and alt mode and bot mode. He's got uh, two, eight, and one. You tap, you scrap one white pip card from your hand, choose two of your characters, two of your characters, and swap their upgrades. So that's basically swap parts with red, with red heat. And I think Wheeljack would allow you to do that too. I think. Um, no, well, I saw, I saw somebody commenting about Wheeljack possibly working for a swap parts. To get the infinite combo play going again, but I didn't read the full article. So I mean that kind of a bummer. Uh, which reminds me, a uh, Transformers fanboy, if you're still here, and Sean, uh, comment. Let me know. Did you guys see the images for the SDCC Blaster and Soundwave pack that's coming out, and the fact that they announced that there's going to be a second pack? That's going to have one that's the SDC one is going to have the G1 art style art to it, and they're going to do a regular retail release that's going to have a newer art style to it. It's the same cards, just different art styles. Smoke Thor, did I have this one? Uh, but it's a weapon, bold two. So you can flip them two more, and you got a black pip on there, so that's going to give you a pierce. That's something else in this wave. There's going to be black pips in it that's going to. Uh, give you an extra pierce when you flip them instead of adding to your attack. And still, you still get the attack, but you're going to get the pierce with it. So if you flip, say, two of these and you're flipping, uh, you flip four cards and you flip two of these and two orange pips. And uh, let, let, you know, we'll use red heat here as an example. So you, you say you flip two orange pips, he's got four attack. He's not doing any pierce on it. But if you're flipping two of these with that, he's going to get the pierce too. So you're going to do at least two damage with that. That's what the black pits basically mean. Repurpose, we've seen that. Dismantling Claw, we've seen that. Buffalo Scan, we've seen it. EMP Wave, we've seen it. And Heroic Team Up. Did not see this. Did not have this. Action, I love the art here. Uh, RC Riding uh, Hound. It's an action card. Tap one of your untapped Autobots at its attack total to one of your un untapped Autobots until the end of the turn. So you're tapping one bot, giving, basically giving the Autobots a thrust ability. That's one thing with thrust. You tap thrust from wave two, and he would give his attack to, uh, I think it was in alt mode when he did that. He would give his attack to another bot that's attacking. So if you're attacking, say, with Omega Supreme, and you tap uh, thrust, you get his, you give thrust, uh, or give, excuse me, you give uh, Omega Supreme thrust attack added on his own. So Omega's going to come at you for a pretty good attack if he did that. But you can do that with any of them, or on any of them. So we're going to see here. And after I get this open, I'm going to take a quick swig of my drink here, try to moisten my throat a little bit. Uh, 
sorry about that and hey we got runabout cool i was wanting to get both of these guys uh, as i mentioned earlier we did pull where is he at there he is we did pull runabout run muck so now we got runabout so now we got both the power chargers uh, really, my daughter and i both pulled two one of each of these last runabout run a muck excuse me last night and neither one of us pulled runabout i really wanted to hope i hope to pull both of them and i wanted to run both of them because their abilities to look so well together we saw that runabout or run amok excuse me is when he's in alt mode and you flip him when you flip to this mode or yeah you flip run amok to bot mode from alt mode uh you draw a card if you have runabout on the battlefield you flip him from alt mode to bot so you want to flip him this causes runabout to flip and then when you flip runabout to bot mode or uh, alt mode you're going to flip them up back to alt mode so and when you flip this mode repair one damage from this if you have run them up so if it, basically that's going to work good this way you can attack with runabout run amok it'll flip runabout to attack mode or to bot mode you attack with one and then the next turn you flip runabout back you flip them both flip both of them when you repair any damage done or you you might take from that turn so that work consistently uh, he's got five thirteen and two on his on his alt mode or alt mode and four thirteen and two on his alt mode. Uh, so that is awesome. I'm looking really looking forward to playing those guys, to building something with them. Private Top Shot got pulled like two of these last night. He's a one five and two. He's got the stealth, of course, and bot mode. Actually, I sh I showed him on the top loader earlier. So I won't go into full detail. You can always go back to the first part of the stream and find that. They still pretty cool. I don't even think we're halfway through this box. Whoa, we haven't got the battle card yet before I open that one. We're going, we're going a little bit faster on these battle cards because we're seeing a bunch of them. And, and also in this way, there's like 80... One, I think, in the first wave, and I think another 84, 86 in the second wave. I could be wrong on the second one. But in this, this wave, we've only got 64 battle cards. We've got diagnosis, we've seen. Personal targeting drone, we've seen. Basic combat protocol, we've seen. Squash them like bugs, we've seen. Sean, what do you think of that art? Magnus squash in the mini cons. Uh, Spinner rims, we've seen. That's the second one of that. And we got micro capacitor. Did not have this one. It's a nice sound wave art there. With looks like he's petting Ravage and equipping Ravage with something on his back. It says um, utility when you use this upgrade character's flip ability, untap that character and scrap this card. So we got sound wave one sound wave already. We got the new one coming out. Yeah, it, it, I'm looking forward to, to building something around run about and run amok. So. I mean, I'm just I'm looking forward to it. I don't know who I'm going to run about with with them because they're both ten stars. That's the only downside. So you have a five point uh, workabout. I don't know. I had, I had to look at the battle battle master to see what one might work with it. And this one open. Throw that all away. And uh oh, well, we already got this one going coming out. Dual charge electro photon can. I don't think this one I got. Yeah, private fire drive. I did not have this one, I don't believe. Um, but we'll go over his stats three, ten, and zero. Uh, when this card attacks, draw a card. And of course, when he's in alt mode, which is not really his alt mode, it's his defeat defeated mode, it becomes a weapon. When the upgrade character attacks, scrap any number of cards from your hand. For each one you scrap this way, the upgrade character gets plus one. Oh, dang. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. But he's a seventh cost. That is a badass ability, but that's a high cost. He'd take up a lot of space. And we got yet another ion storm for this one. 
this is the third one. I pulled t- t- one him in my draft and then one from my winning pack from that draft last night. Uh, seven fourteen and two, and it's going to tax return one of your defenders upgrades to its owner's hand. It's not a bad ca- card at all, but he's a high cost, a twelve star cost. Seven fourteen and three. That's that's why it kept me from using him and uh, Sky Warp. I just couldn't figure out a good pairing for him. I mean, you got uh, basically 20 right there, and I just couldn't figure out a good third one. No, it's just I got so fed, fed up, I just went with the other one out. So, I mean, it's it, but it still was pretty good. I should, probably should have run that, really. I probably could have done better. But, no. Ah, did it again. I almost didn't pull the top battle card. Diagnosis, we've seen. Medic, we've seen. Defensive formation, we've seen. Spread, steady shot. I don't think we pulled this one. Uh, one of your characters gets pulled plus two until the end of turn. It's an action. And it's a pretty good image there of Prowl. He's got black and blue pips. So. There's another metal detector. Poor Ratchet. Or excuse me, Will Jack. Looking for metal on Cybertron. And another micro... Capacitor. So that's two of them. That's actually almost my full play set. One more, and I have a complete set of that. More than likely, I'm going to get a full play set, if not most of the play sets. If I might be one card short on these boxes because I got two more to open. Not tonight, granted, but. And there's another specialist ratchet. So that's my second of him. Yeah. Yep, second of him. We well, spoke of him earlier, so we won't go into full detail on him again. And I believe this is the one I was playing with last night. Yep, Blowpipe. 2 7 and 1. Focus. Uh, before flipping, before flipping when battling, look at the top card of your deck and you may scrap it. And then his weapon, you get plus 1. And for each different color, you, you get plus one to his attack for this when you have, put this on a great attack and you go into battle. You uh, For each different color, different color among battle cards you flipped, you get a plus one. So he's flipping a pretty good attack points with that. And we got to get the battle cards here. Oh, come on. There we go. And I guess I wanted to open up. Another reactive armor. Another new brainstorm. I love the art for the new brainstorm. Or basically play a card, play an action, then play another action. So let's play two more actions. Uh, Battlefield Report. We've seen that. Rock Toss. Iron High just throwing a rock. Uh, do one damage to a tapped enemy. So it's basically giving you one damage on tapped enemy already. Covert armor, RC with like reflective armor, looks pretty cool. Put on melee characters only. When this upgrade character is defending against, especially the upgrade character gets plus one defense. So you yeah, go up if uh, it's defending against a specialist character, you get an extra defense point. And dampening field. Did not have this one. Got one now. That's another secret action. Reveal. When one of your characters offends, your opponent cannot flip more than four battle cards. This is going to be... I'm actually thinking that now, I'm actually going to build a pretty good deck with Skywarp and a couple other Seekers and work with that. Uh, if I could run Skywarp with the Runabout and Runamuck, but it didn't cost too much. Way too much cost for that. But still pretty awesome. I'm surprised nobody really pulled that. At least I don't remember seeing anybody that pulled that last night. We'll get this pack. Still hoping for that Cog or Shockwave or Magnus or the General Megatron. We pulled General Prime. Let's pull Megatron. And we're not going to get that. We're going to get Chromia. Did not have Chromia. So that's actually pretty cool. Her alt mode, 4, 12, and 1. When you flip this mode, you may play an armor. And we got Ravage as the other one. I think we pulled him already, so not too worried about that one. Um, 
312 on one when this card character when this defends you can flip at least two blue clips and draw a card so that's pretty cool i actually fought her last night and i did defeat her twice actually i fought her in two decks uh went up against then defeat her i actually i knocked her out in both in both games but i actually ended up losing in one and winning the other one and we're about to try to open another pack when we haven't even opened the battle cards yet again it's getting too late Okay, it's going on 10 o'clock, and I am tired, so please bear with. Let's see, come on. Have it open. There we go. Alright, another combat dagger we've seen. Another reactive armor we've seen. Another frag toss we've seen. Another fuel cache. We don't didn't haven't seen this one just yet, but... It's a star cost. Reveal the top three cards of your deck. If you if they include a white, orange, and blue pip, put them all in your hand. Otherwise, scrap them. So you're basically like a strat. You're basically picking up. This is one of the triple pip cards: white, orange, and blue. So it might see deck use. But I I really don't see it being used too often. Another covert armor and another take cover. We've already pulled this one, so that's still pretty good. I actually pulled. That's probably my third. Of that, including the one I pulled last night. I don't think I pulled one, but I'll have this all sorted out by tomorrow night. So I'll be working on getting these put away for tomorrow. So, well, put this one. You know what? Let's, let's change this up a little bit. Let's go after the battle cards this time. We'll keep the character hidden. Got another pep talk. I love the new art. Pet, pet talk as well. Another calculator strike we've seen. Another combat dagger we've seen. Another extra pattern we've seen. Another bolster we've seen. And another pop wheelie. So, well, actually, did we see that one? Uh, I think we have. Uh, major prowl. There's another major prowl. My daughter pulled this last night. So, I won't go full. Well, did we pull? We haven't pulled one tonight. So, we'll do this real quick. 5, 14, and 1. When this character. Attacks an enemy that has a weapon, do two damage to it. That's actually a pretty awesome ability. My daughter was using that really well last night. Um, if they have an, uh, basically what that means is if they have a weapon attack attached to their opponent or whoever they're attacking with, he's doing two damage before he even attacks. She actually won a match with that ability because he had one bot left. Or no, yeah, he had, take that back, he had two bots left. One, the one she went after only had two uh, HP left. She started to go after that. But with that, it result it knocked out that one. So his attack basically got directed toward the other one. And she knocked him out. No, I don't think she knocked him out that turn. I think she knocked him out the next turn. So that was still pretty awesome. And then we got the binary edgewing slice. This is part of Pterodon. So... Battlemaster, three, nine, and zero, in uh, alt or basic bot mode or Battlemaster mode. Weapon mode, uh, when you upgrade your take character attacks and you flip at least two white pips, the defender's base the defense becomes zero during the battle. So that's pretty awesome. But you got to be able to have a lot of white pips to be able to do that. I actually wondered if you could just flip up a bunch of have one bot and have like. Uh, Bunch of battle masters with them. I don't think you can have that many battle masters on at one time. Yes. Well, we already got this one. Black Bean. I don't know if we got this guy or not. Nightstick. Did not have Nightstick. Uh, battle master of two, six, and one. With his weapon being Black Bean Blaster. I believe Nightstick was uh, Cyclonus's target master in the G1. When the upgrade character attacks and you flip at least two black pips, your opponent chooses a card from their hand and scraps it. Means that's a two and a one to his attack. That is awesome. That is really awesome. That would almost fit into Runabout and Run Amok, but this he's one star cost too many because he's a six cost. And we got yet another Ion Storm. So that's the third. No, that's actually the fourth Ion Storm I have pulled from the wave so far. Another EM EM24, another smoke cloak, another battlefield report, another fuel cache, another bolster, 
And a fire con flame did not have this one. I have we've pulled two of the fire cons, my or I think uh I think we have two of the fire cons, one or two of the fire cons. Uh put on fire cons only, each of your fire cons get bold one. So you flip them one more attack. That's a nice image there too. I can't remember who that one is though. Uh Sean, if you know who that is, please comment. I can't think of which fire con that is off the top of my head. I don't know, can't remember which one of them is purple. Pop this one. Another Raider laser beak. Again, this kind of annoyed me. We pulled laser beak and ravage in the packs, but we didn't have a sound wave until the tournament was over, and I won my winning packs pulled the sound wave. So that kind of was cool, but it, it sucked at the same time. And we got Specialist Flame War again. Uh, my daughter pulled this one. She didn't, or she actually won. This is at that back. She didn't pull that. She this was the pack she got from the win. Focus two, flipping two more battle cards when she attacks. Uh, says before flipping battle cards when battling. Look at the top two cards from your deck. You may scrap any number of them. Put the rest back in any order. Uh, four, ten, and one, and stealth and alt mode of four, ten, and zero. And she was kind of annoyed because she had two Papa Wheelies. She's wanting to have a, a bot in motorcycle mode, but she didn't have one. And then after she opened her pack, she got the end, she got him one. And she's kind of annoyed at that. Another calculation strike, another laser, another brainstorm, another extra padding, another steady shot, and another emergency force field or defense field. Uh, it's basically similar to force field. Uh, if they upgrade her defense, it will take an even amount of damage. Instead, you take no damage. And when the upgraded character defends, it takes no attack damage. Scrap this card. So basically defending against an even attack, which is kind of like force field. The force field box like five or higher. You'll still take four or lower than four or lower, but when it's higher than five or more, you take that. You won't take the damage. The attack damage. I mean. We'll see about that purple one. I think I have an idea who it might be. Yeah, <laughs> speaking of the purple one, I think this is him here. Flame Feather. This might be him. Uh, I could be mistaken, though. I think I think we pulled this one. I think my daughter pulled her. Uh, I could be wrong. I know we pulled one fire comb, but I can't remember which one it was. Um, let's actually see. We got them here. I can look through them right quick and see. Play War, Raider, Raider. No, we didn't. Get, we got Spark Starker. We got Spark Starker. That's the other one we pulled. And that's not the one in that art. So, so we got two of the Fire Cons now. Flame Feather, uh, 3, 11, and 1. When this defends and you flip Battle Cards, he gets plus one defense until the end of turn for each orange flip you flip. Up to five. So if you pip, if you're going a full blue or uh, orange deck, battle card deck, and you flip a bunch of them for your defense on him, you're going to get the plus five. So he's going to have at least six defense. And in his alt mode, uh, flip this mode. Each of your fire cons gets bold one. And he's three eleven to one. And see, this is another one I was interested in trying to play out was the fire cons, and he's also uncommon. And we got another stakeout. Uh, my daughter was actually using this last night. Uh, two, five, and one in uh, bot mode. Tap, scrap a. I think, did we already speak about this one? I think we did. Uh, I think we did earlier. So we're just going to go for a little bit faster. Let's say we did. And we're going to pop the bow cards here. Just to get rid of these, rid of that plastic there. Dismantle, we've seen that. Automatic, we've seen that. Diagnosis, seen that. Power defense system, seen that. Say shot, seen that. And R and R disruptive blade. 
I have this one, but we haven't pulled it yet tonight. We pulled, I pulled this last night and used it. Uh, when the upgrade character attacks and you don't flip a uh, black pip, you scrap this card at the end of the battle. So it gives you a plus three for during the attack. And as long as you don't, if you flip another black pip, you're fine. If you don't pick it, flip any, you guys scrap this at the end of the turn. It was, it was running real well for me last night. I think I only had to scrap it like once in the play when I had it equipped. That was the only downside of the deck I was having to use. I didn't have very, I think I had like maybe six or seven orange pips in the whole thing. I had a lot of blue. I had a lot of like, uh, like two or three white. Maybe maybe a bit more than that. Maybe about four white. But I had a lot of black and I had a lot of uh, blue. And scrap, hey, why did you know it? We got yet another runabout. So we got two full two sets of the runabout and run them up now. So that's pretty cool. And then we got another private red red heat. So so that dupe. I'm gonna keep going with this. Another urban camo, seen it. Pep talk, seen it. Personal training drone, seen it. Squashing like bugs, seen it. Reflex circuits. Uh, I don't think we pulled it just yet. We did get another battery ram. That's the rare. The uncommon reflex circuits. Range characters only. It's an armor. When the upgrade character is defending against a melee, the upgrade character gets plus one more defense. So that's another melee. Megatron there is going up against Ironhide. He looks like he's got some energon flowing through his legs. It's pretty good image there, though. I actually was using that as well. Come on. There we go. So far, two, only two rares coming from this pack or this box. So far. But we still got a few more packs left in here. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm happy. I got the bot I was wanting. The secret rare. I got a secret rare. I got a secret rare. I got Cog. The bot I was wanting. Yay. First shot. First box. Cool. Weaponizer. 4, 12, and 1 in bot mode. A weaponizer begins in bot mode and cannot flip. When it's KO'd, play the upgraded its upgraded side. And his upgrade side is a heavy force defensive cannon. Uh, when you put this on a character, draw a card for each character you have on the battlefield. Then you may play an upgrade on to each of your characters. Awesome. When you if this would leave the battlefield, put it into your KO area instead. Awesome. But he's a high freaking cost, a 10 cost. Oh, I am happy though. You know what we're gonna do? We're actually gonna go ahead and sleep him up and, and top load him. Because I want him protected. Uh, I use the the regular oh what's the name of these sleeves again? The uh, Mayfair sleeves. I slide them up in here. We're going to do this really kind of quickly, or try to at least. Oh, I'm, I am so freaking excited for this. Makes me think of my uh, Windblade when I pulled her. I was like, when I got to her in that box from Combiner War, the Combiner set, I was like, I'm done. Uh, I'm, I'm good. Uh, I'll, I'll quit this box later. But, you know, I did finish it. But there's Cog. Oh, and all of his glory. And I'm going to go ahead and put them in the top loader just to get them situated. And when I put them in top loaders, I put the, as you see, I, I put the sleeve this way. So the, like the open ends on the bottom of the card. And I, I normally just kind of pop it open a little bit. And I slide them in like so. Just nice, and smooth. He stays in there nice and tight. And make sure I get them all the way down. Voila. Nice and sturdy. Nice and safe. Cog. Yeah, Cog. Yee. Fangirl squirrel. Fangirl squirrel. Yay. <laughs> Sean's loving it. Thanks, Sean. I, I got I know I know I kinda don't want to finish this box, but I'm going to. Now if I can just pull uh, Megatron or Magnus. 
I doubt I'll pull it, but got another private stakeout. I already pulled him, so we won't go through that one. We'll get this out of the way. Oh, we didn't get the we didn't get the open. We didn't open. <laughs> got so excited on that. Didn't open the other ones. This is Mudslinger. This is from I don't know which pack. Uh, I pulled him last night. A uh, tap a black pip. I think did we already pull one of him? I don't remember if we did or not. Um, dude, dude, I'm trying to look. Yep, we did. So look on the previous thing. I'm not going to repeat the ones I've already done. Uh, I got to fix this pile here. I got to like two open packs sitting down here. Oh, we got a private RC. So we got the new RC. Cool. This is from the pack I pretty much just opened because uh, I didn't get the other half of COG. Uh, 5, 12, and 1. Well, this has a weapon. She has a bold one, tough one. And then in alt mode, she is 4, 12, and 1. Focus. Uh, flipping For flipping battle cards, you can put the top card of your deck and scrap it. That is pretty awesome. And she's an 8 cost. So not too shabby on that. And we still got... Uh, did, did I... Huh. So, we'll see. We'll go, we'll go through these battle cards real quick because I got two, two packs of battle cards. Oh, yeah, I pulled the Mudslinger. That's right. Okay, I was thinking I'd miss a battle, uh, battle master, but I've got to pull the other Mudslinger. Smoke Thrower, already seen that. Dismounting on Claw, seen it. Perfect Bomber, seen it. Reflexive Circuit, seen it. Seen it. Hey, Backpack Bag. Did not have this one yet. Uh, I actually saw this in use last night. Uh, one of the guys was playing it, and he actually played on his Alita one because there was two Alita ones actually pulled, including my daughter pulling one. And he was using it on his. It says when this guy, card would cause a weapon or armor to be scrapped. Oh no, this ain't the one I was thinking of. I think this is, must be a different card. It says when this when one of your cards would cause a weapon or armor to be scrapped from the upgraded character, you scrap this one instead. So basically, you scrap this instead of being you have one of your other weapons scrapped, and this. I don't know. The image of this kind of looks like Wheeljack. I don't think Wheeljack has the red. I can't quite make out who the head is. And I also want to say it's Trax, but I don't think it's Trax either. I don't know. But we'll see. Get this. Um, basic combat protocol. Pull those, pull those, seen those, seen that, seen that, seen that, and seen this. All got all those already. So we're doing pretty good. One secret rare, two rare so far. Or excuse me, not secret rare, super rare. And how many packs we got? Holy crud. 10, 5, 6, oops, sorry. Uh, 11 packs to go. We get, we get them, okay. I didn't mean, did not mean to bump that camera. I do apologize. Oh, we got private red alert. Did not have this one. So that's still, that's pretty cool. Uh, when you, 3, 11, and 1. Well, I tell you what, we did have it. We had the gold foil version. Uh, when this attacks, you flip at least one or white, orange, and blue pip. You get to plus 3 till the end of the turn. Alt mode. 3, 11, and 2. So, you flip this mode, repair one damage from one of your characters. You probably would work really well with Ratchet. You know, that actually wouldn't be too bad to work, run with them too. Well, he's a medic. I did not realize he was listed as a medic. Okay, so that is pretty good. Him and Ratchet would work, probably work really well in a combo together. Got another private tote. I think you pretty much have, with the ones I was missing, I think I got all my Battle Masters now. Pull. Get rid of the paper and that bit of cardboard. Basic combat protocol. I've seen it. Seen it. Seen it. Seen it. Seen it. Ah, scavenger battle. This is new, but I, I pulled one of these last night. Uh, I love this image of Starscream holding Megatron's fusion cannon. It says revealed when your character is KO'd. Instead of scrapping that character's upgrades, you may put a number of them, any number of them, onto your other characters. So if you if you know you have your character, excuse me, if you know you have uh, several upgrades out, 
and you got a bot that's about to get knocked out, and you know he's gonna probably gonna get knocked out next turn. I'd put this down, and then when he's knocked out, you play this, put all those uh, weapons instead of scrapping them, they just go into a couple of the bots. So that's awesome. I'll try to get these last like 10 packs fairly quick. And hey, we got Raider Trigger Happy. Did not have Trigger Happy yet. He's uncommon. Bot mode 2, 12 and 2, pierce 4, do at least 4 damage when attacking, but no more than attack total. So you're doing at least 4. Uh, 3, 2, 3, 12 and 2 for his default mode. When you flip this mode, return a weapon from your scrap pile to the hand. So he's got his basically a target master ability. Or I won't say ability, more. What, he, what he's got. And we pulled another Road Hugger. Uh, I had a couple of these, but this one is tapped. Uh, scrap a blue tipped blue pip from your hand. One of your characters gets plus three attack until the end of the turn. Uh, he's a 3 7 and 1 in alt mode and a 3 7 and 1 in bot mode. Force field. Again, seen it, seen it, seen it, seen it, seen it. Hey, nope, there's another Firecon Flame. So that's two of those. Almost got a full play set of that. One more, and we don't have one. It's working a little bit faster now that we're going to all the battle cards. And my other streams I'm going to do the next couple of nights, I'm more likely to won't go through all the battle cards either. They're probably going to probably go a lot faster. Oh, got another private RC. That's not too bad. And another private road, Raider Road Hugger. So basically got the same battle mat or uh, minute micromaster in two packs consecutively. Another force field. Another smoke goat. Another defensive formation. Another covert armor. Another hiding spot. Oh, heat of battle. Did we have this one? Did we set this one? I don't remember seeing this one. Um, but we'll go over it real quick. Secret action, reveal after your opponent chooses an attacker and before you choose the offender. So when you do that, one of your characters gets stealth until the end of the turn. So basically when you, it's that's actually a good battle card. That would be good to put into with a sky warp and stuff. You put this down and your opponent goes to attack and before he chooses a defender, you say, hey, I revealed this. You can't attack him. And then the heat of battle, all your characters get bolt three and tough three until the end of turn. I actually had this played against me a couple of times last night, but I didn't never pulled it. Let's see, we'll go this side. No, oh, another Sergeant Chromia. We already had her, and another private flag. So we're getting a lot of dupes now with the battle masters and that because I pretty much kind of figured that once we got going good on this. But I think you can pretty much pull all the battle masters and that in one box or at least close to it. Another pep talk, another smoke cloak, another medic, another reflex of circuits, HP breacher. Got it again, major cutlass. Uh, I can't remember if we went over this, but we can real quick. Uh, upgrade weapon, put it on a character with seven or fewer, and you do pierce three. I actually had this in my deck, but I couldn't use it. On, the only bot I could use it on last night was the the uh, nightstick or the, 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 the oh crap, the battle master I was using. I can't remember it off the top of my head now because I'm kind of still excited about a couple of There we go. That one went a little bit easier. Let me get that all the way. Oh, was it wet? You know it. <clears throat> again, it, it fooled me again because I saw the wave part first. Major sound wave. I got another major sound wave. Uh, got ravaging that in there. So we got the full them guys again. When this attacks, attack each of your spy patrols. It makes me it makes me wonder if they will release the other ones. I mean, we are getting. Uh, Oh, who we getting? We're getting a, a, a rumble and frenzy 
and that and the other one. I think Buzzsaw and the the box set. So and it gives you some options to use with. And he's four fifteen and two and six fifteen and two. Oh, we need to help by his alt mode. Each of your spy bots has plus one defense. So that's pretty cool. And then the RS Fire Steel Saber Steel. I don't think we had this one. This might be the last Battle Master I needed. Bowl four, attacking when the upgrade here attacks. Plan one. And I think it's, I think, yeah, it was Lionizer. I was wanting this one. This was the Battle Card or Battle Master. I was wanting more of all of them. So now I, I think I pretty good. Get a, I got all the battle masters now. Battle masters, micro masters. I think I got them all. I'll take another quick swig of my drink. Uh, much better. And repurpose battlefield rapport, brainstorm, combat shield. Bolster, another heroic team up. We've seen all those. We'll get to these last few packs. We got uh, one, two, that's three, and six more to go. We're just going to go ahead and get this box out of the way and do it this way. We got six more packs here. And we got we still got loose. Possibly another layer of time. So six more, maybe one more rare. Sergeant Scrapnel. He is common. Uh, Scrapnel is five, eleven, and one. With an upgraded, when an upgrade is scrapped from one of your characters, repair one damage from this. So you get a repair when you scrap an upgrade. And his alt mode is for 11 and 2. Brave attack enemy. Enemies attack this character if able. I did not have him, so that's a new Insecticon or new art for an Insecticon. A Raider Stormcloud. I had this guy. Um, I, think I, I think I talked about him. But I, I did, you know, 3, 6, and 0. And 3, 6, and 0. Uh, you scrap three green pips. Yeah, scrap three green pips and you get the bold. And it's the same card. You get both six. You get the battle cards. Let's get another smoke thrower right off the bat there. And get this one open. Smoke thrower, cement claw, fire toss, stay shot, EMP wave. Next pack. Uh oh. Are you still streaming? It's still going. Uh, I'm showing it's, it's streaming, but uh, it may just be need a refresh. Um, bear with me if you can't see. I don't know what it's doing. But we got another. I already got the pack open. I'm just going to hope it pops up. But I'm going to just keep going and tell you if you can see it or not. Got another private, uh, excuse me, not private, Captain Wheeljack. I already pulled him for this stream. Uh, another Raider Viper for the Battlemaster or Airstrike Patrol character, about Micromaster. Uh, I, I don't know what it's doing. Maybe my 
camera's cutting out on me. I don't know. I do apologize. If you can hear me, comment, let me know for sure. Yeah, I see it now. Come back. Um, so, bear with me, guys. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Uh, this man's only seen EM24 laser scene, brainstorm scene, bolster scene, iron spot scene, and energy pack. I think this is the one I was thinking of earlier. Uh, put on a uh, character that has 11 or more. Yeah. And the upgraded character has four plus four more health. Yes. I, this is one of the ones I was seeing last night. This is the guy. He put this on his Alita one. Uh, he was playing with. And it gave her. Um, let me pull that Alita that I got down here. Uh, come on. Uh, where's she at? Come on. Prowl, Hound, Bumblebee. Uh, there's private, private specialists. There she is. Yeah, he was playing her on Alita, and it gave her, she's at 17 health, and it gave her 21. So it gave her a whopping amount of health. And that, that was pretty awesome because of her star cost. You know, it's, she's 12, and it's 11 or more. So there's not very many that you can put this on. So, I mean, it, it worked really well for that. I didn't go up against him because of the way the pairings were, but I saw him use it. So that was actually pretty, pretty cool. I'm going to pick a random one in here. We got four packs left, including this one. So. Four left to try to pull another rare out of here. And we got another flame war. Kind of a bummer, but still. Got seen her, seen another got another laser beak, seen him. So these last few are probably gonna go pretty quick considering I'm placing pulling dupes on the others. Ah, come on. There we go. Got another smoke cloak, another dismantle, another force field, another deep bit, device virus with a combat shield, and another battery ram. We've seen all of these already. Actually, did we have we seen device virus? I think I have. Yeah. Well, if not. You know, it's, it's fine. One card is not make much difference. We only got three cards, three packs left here. And, oh, we got Captain Ironhide. I think he might be a rare. Yeah, he is the rare. So that's pretty cool. We got Ironhide. Uh, Captain Ironhide at that 5, 12, and 2. When it's attacks and has a weapon, you may swap the weapon with a defense weapon from your hand. A blue pip weapon. So... If you have a blue, well, it's just when he attacks. So if you have a blue pit weapon in your hand each turn, you can actually keep flipping around with Iron Hide. That, that's pretty good. His alt mode is 4, 12, and 2. This cannot, this can't take non-attack damage from your opponent's cards. That's pretty awesome. So there's our three rares and one secret rare. And we got another Raider Detour. From that one. And we got two left, or three left, two left. These battle pack card packs are starting to annoy me. Plastic doesn't want to work with me, really. Another force field, another border call, another frag toss, another squash the bugs. What a sturdy armor. Uh, oh, erratic energy grenade. Did not have this one. Uh, this was actually used against me, but I never pulled it. It's a uh, utility. This time you return, do one damage to upgraded character. If the upgraded character is KO, do two damage to each enemy. So if you got this and you're about to get KO'd, oh wait, that's when you are KO'd. I'm sorry, I just read that. When the upgraded character is KO'd, so basically if you attack somebody that has this equipped, you're doing two damage to everybody in return. That's pretty good. Next to last pack. And we're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to go ahead and open both of these. 
and we're going to try to reveal both of them at the same time. If I can get this one open. There we go. This one last one's being kind of stubborn. There is a small chance I can pull a uh, another rare card out of these. I don't think there is, but I'm going to pull the, the, car the battle cards out first without looking at the character. I'll try not to. And we're going to go through these real quick just to see the battle cards. And smoke clear, cloak, got to get medic, got it, got it, got it, got it. Here's your pack. That's the second one of that. So that's that's pretty cool. And the other one. Let's get this. Come on. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. So battle cards all done. Didn't do too bad there. Um, let's try. Let's see if we can get the smaller card out. The Battlemaster, or the character, the smaller card, kind of the Viper or Viper. And we'll do the same on this one. Another Flak. And what do you say we try to look at these guys together? So we got a oh, we got another run them out. So we got two sets of the, the run about run them up. I get, well, that's like the fourth run amok or fifth run amok. I think I pulled. Hey, it's another stalker. Uh, actually, this is the second one. I don't think I pulled another one of this one tonight. Uh, did I? Let's see. We'll go. We'll do this really, really quickly. I'm not going to go through all the characters or all the cards. Just going to do the character cards real quick, just to go through. And I'm not going to do the battle masters, but we're just going to do the character cards just really quickly. Uh, we pulled tonight out of this box a side swipe, a trailbreaker, a hound, a run amok, a flame war, a wheeljack, a scrapnel, a sound wave, a chromia, an RC, a spark stalker, a trigger happy, a red alert. Another RC, a runabout, runabout, a flaming feather, another flame war, an ion storm, a prowl, another chromia, a ratchet, another ion storm, another runabout, another runabout, another wheeljack, and another hound. Those were the commons and uncommons. Rares, we pulled, we'll do this way, a sky warp. A prime, an iron hide, and the secret rare of Sergeant Cough. Cog, cog. That's the one I was most happy about. Yay! So, not too bad for my first box. Not too shabby at all. Actually, I think this kind of, aside from Magnus and Megatron and the Shockwave, I think that's like the only four I need. I could be mistaken. That might be one I'm missing. I think once I get these organized, I'll well, see. But thanks to y'all for coming. Sean, thanks for coming. Uh, let's see. Uh, Transformers fanboy, thanks for coming as well. You guys have been great. And those others who have been here, thanks again for coming. Once more, uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I know I did. Uh, tune back tomorrow night. I got my second box to open tomorrow night. Actually, I don't have it nearby. I got it kind of on the side. I don't really want to get up to go get it right now. Uh, because if I get up, I'm kind of got to go somewhere, <laughs> but, uh, cause I kind of go to a lake, but pretty cool. I I'm happy with this, these rare pools, especially the prime, especially these three, cause I already had Skywarp, but these three alone, I am happy with. I'm really content, especially the cog once again, cog, but awesome. But until tomorrow night, guys, if you want to show, if you come back, come back at about the same time tomorrow, we'll get my second box out and we'll see what we do from there. But until later, this is Dama saying thanks for watching. And please don't forget to like, comment, and share this video if you're watching later, of course. And if you haven't done so, don't forget to subscribe as well. And keep an eye out for my future videos of Dreamwave Comics. Until later, this is Dama saying thanks for watching.
and I shall talk to you all tomorrow night. Y'all have a good night, and I'll talk to you later.